What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and today the 0-2 UAB Blazers who have come off really tough, tough losses to both Virginia and Alabama finally get some home cooking taking on the 0-1 Ohio Bobcats and if you guys are hyped for today's episode of the UAB Blazers Dynasty make sure you guys drop that like and if you're new to the channel subscribe there's gonna be more videos along the way as long as my uh, school schedule doesn't really uh, we're looking for our first win this is a very favorable game for us because it's at home and we've played well against really good teams and uh, Ohio isn't really that good in this game um, last year in the dynasty they finished six and six didn't even make a bowl game um, but they were just like us in a sense they just didn't do well and uh, they didn't have any strong wins or anything like that, so they kind of got shafted in the, the bottom half of the NCAA. So this kind of gives me hope that, hey, maybe this, maybe today's our day that we actually get a good win. Um, that would be something that, you know, I've been wanting for quite some time, just to have a nice, solid win. We haven't had that since last year against Marshall, where we won 70-35. to Or even a solid win where against uh, Western Kentucky, where we won 41-13. So if we beat these, this team today... And, uh, it would really boost our confidence going into uh, to next week against Washington. And uh, Washington, they've been have they have a really good squad as well. This that's the reason why they're number five in the nation. And uh, who knows where they're going to be at next week? What if they lose? What if they win? What if everybody else is in front of them? What if there's a couple teams that lose right in front of them, like at the two or three spot? Will they move up? Of course they will. But we're going to have to wait till next week to find that out. Um, but I'm I'm just focused on this game today. We have a very good chance of winning this one, I think, even though Kirk Herbstreit doesn't have us winning this one. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is is that we come out with a win today against the Ohio Bobcats. And I will see you guys in the game. Hopefully we come out with that W. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In downtown Birmingham, the old gray lady looms, the storied venue of so many great games over the years. UAB Stadium, the site for our game today. Both teams completing warm-ups, closing in on kickoff from the Magic City. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. And we are here at UAB Stadium as the Ohio Bobcats come into Birmingham to take on the Blazers. Ohio's own, both teams are looking for their first win. Ohio's 0-1. We are 0-2. And, and hopefully we can come out with that win. As the kickoff is now underway here as McTaggart is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's going to take it not even to the 20-yard line. So not a really a, the most ideal start. I probably could have taken a knee and just moved on with my life but it's not really like a big deal or anything so here comes Chris Jones in the UAB offense on their first play they do get a first down right here that's a great way to start off the game to Matt Weiss our all-american tight end he gets that first down so it's obviously a you know a pa we're a pass first offense in this dynasty and I know you guys are saying oh you, you, you need to change your plays up a little bit or you know run a you know more run based offense when I I've seriously have tried running the you know doing run plays and they only work like in situations where they, they expect pass and they and then they get a run anyway so it's like I have to like I don't know my running backs aren't really speedy uh, my offensive line isn't really meant for run blocking uh, so quick passes you know are like like that one to lemon inside the 10 yard line now we're moving the ball pretty well on our first drive so I'm liking what I see but the thing is I don't think this offense is a run first offense I don't think it will ever be that way for a solid few years but we do get the touchdown right there from Lee Williams and it's now 7 nothing UAB a great start to the game um, just the way I like it on offense just nice 
short, methodical plays that took, you know, we took a, quite a few minutes off the clock there in that first drive. And, uh, yeah, we did a lot of passes, but they were a lot of short passes, and that's what I like out of my offense. So later on, it's third down and four here for the Ohio Bobcats. Uh, here is Lawson dropping back. Looks over right side. is caught by Ball, and he gets taken down after a pickup of 12. Its name is, his name is Terrio. Terrio Ball. I don't even know that was a name, Terrio. I don't know. That's like some sort of weird, like, French name or something. But off to Chip Morgan on the handoff. And he's taking this one down to about the five-yard line for a pickup of 20. And, man, the Ohio offense is moving down the field pretty dang quick. As you see right there, Mark Calhoun gets in the end zone. It's now tied at seven. Ohio's got a really good offense. Uh, no huddle offense, anyway. And that's my weakness is the no huddles. So how can we combat that today? against this high octane no huddle offense that seems to go anywhere against a defense like mine uh, we've had struggle we've really struggled against the no huddle and we gotta we gotta just adjust to it hopefully we can make some stops in the run game because that that's what their bread and butter is they like to run read option and run draw plays and all this other these crazy run steam schemes and it's just I gotta learn how to combat that and maybe this defense will respond and possibly get us you know some stops and they did on that last possession so that's a that's a really good sign so lee williams gets out there for a pickup of 15 but later on it's third down and seven they're going to try and get underneath and we get it off to weiss and he gets the first down for the uab blazers another great play from the all-american tight end who is only four catches for 31 yards but i mean he's getting first downs when we need him to that's what we want him to do is just do work so off to jones jones taking it himself gets a pickup of 12 and a first down for the blazers as now we're in scoring position to possibly take the lead once again and the home crowd is loving it even though there's a lot of empty seats in the arena and the in the stadium right now I almost said arena I don't know why I said arena but it's a lot of empty seats in the stadium right now I would probably say this stadium's only at like 20,000 right now which is we need to get those those seats filled man we need to get them seats filled you know what I'm saying and you know that's gonna take some time um, obviously last year six and six you know some people were like oh hey that team's pretty good now I mean maybe we could start paying attention to them but after this 0-2 start, people are starting to leave again. It's like, bruh, we're back to old-style UAB football. We're, you know, on pace to not win a single game. Um, but Marco Jones right there getting a pickup right there of 16 in a Ohio first down. So they're nearing scoring position once again. Second and 12, Lawson looking left side. And it's intercepted by Hamby, and he gets out of bounds. Nice interception by the defense. And now... All we need to do here is take the or uh, extend our lead a little bit more. But Jones here on a second and ten uh, gets the completion right there to Irvin. First down UAB. Later on, and you know UAB is moving the ball pretty dang well. Third down and ten. Jones again. He's gonna get hit as he throws and it's incomplete. So uh, good defense by the Ohio Bobcats and they're gonna get the ball back. But later on in the in the quarter, just under a minute to go. First and ten here at the 36. Lawson again looks left side and guess who's there? The defense, Cunningham with the pick. And that's inside the fifth, the 20 yard line. So we got quite a ways to go here. But later on, it's first and 10 for the uh, UAB Blazers. And we're throwing it deep. It's Lee Williams taking it to the house. Touchdown, UAB 17 to 7 going near halftime. 33 seconds left, handoff to Morgan. And Morgan's going to get stopped short of the first down, obviously. He only picked up a couple. And, you know, let's see here. We got first and 10 here. We got 19 seconds left. We get it off to Weiss. He's obviously the biggest player on our team. Uh, makes quite a big impact for this UAB squad. 14 seconds left. Jones again looks. Gets it off to Weiss again. Pickup of 21. And UAB is looking to possibly get a field goal at the end of the half. The kick is up. And Brown nails it through the uprights. It's 20-7 to going into halftime. This is a big lead going into halftime. Like, this is our biggest lead of the season. This is actually our first lead of the season where we've had like a. This is the first time in the season we've had a lead, and this is a big one too. So, I like our chances. I love our chances actually. So defense comes up big again on the read option stop, and here comes a long field goal attempt from Ohio, and it's good. So it's twenty to ten. Uh, UAB so now third down and two here's a play action Jones looks run throws on the run caught by Jones again the Jones to Jones connection and a pickup of 19 yards and a first down for the UAB Blazers so UAB of course moving the ball very well third down and three Jones again looks has time to throw and it's caught by the other Jones again so another Jones to Jones connection 
And now we're nearing the end zone here, at the, nearing the end of the third quarter as well. So we do get the touchdown. Oh, or not. It's intercepted. I ate my, you guys made me eat my words there, Mr. Ohio defenses. Uh, but third down and 12 here, Lawson. Uh, can't go anywhere. He gets taken down for the sack. So good stand by the UAB defense. They've been playing excellent all game long, which is surprising because, you know, we are usually pretty bad on defense, especially for the first couple of weeks where, you know, we're, we're only good for like a half and it's only like, you know, Alabama especially where we were really bad in the first half and then we ended up crumbling towards the end of the game and ended up losing both uh, games really by just – the defense has improved, yes. I will say that much, but it hasn't been where I would like it to be against like teams like Alabama or Virginia. But it is playing well today against an Ohio team that's kind of been looking for a spark on offense all season long. And uh, you know, we're just trying to we're just taking advantage at this point. So Weiss gets in the end zone. Touchdown UAB once again. It's twenty seven to ten. So Chris Jones having a pretty dang good game, I would say. You know, I know he's not like the most ideal choice at quarterback to start the season. You guys were, we were debating whether Justin Cutler would be a perfect fit for our team, but it looks like Chris Jones has said, you know what, I can do it. So the defense comes up big again, forcing a turnover on downs, and we're on, we're in business once again. Williams down the field, down in field goal range once again, and later on, third down and 15. Jones again looks, but he does not get the completion. Is this going to be a fourth down? for the UAB Blazers. It's going to make it 30 to 10 here. Chris Jones has over 400 yards passing. He has been doing excellent today. And obviously that kick is good, so it's 30 to 10. So this game is basically out of reach now. It's There's less than three minutes to go. It's a, it's a three possession game. And this, this has been a perfect day for the UAB Blazers. It's been outstanding. Lights out defense today. Offense has been on fire. Over 400 yards passing from Jones as he gets another touchdown right there to make it 37 to 10. That's pretty much going to end it as the final score was 37 to 10. Big win for the Blazers. And uh, Chris Jones, player of the game, 31 for 47 for, over, for almost 450 yards and a few touchdown passes. So great win today. We cannot wait to go to uh, face Washington next week, even though it's going to be a really tough game for us to win. We might start 1-3 to start conference play, which it's not the end of the world. But, um, like I said, the goal this year is to win seven games. And I don't know if we'll be able to do that right away. So, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, if you guys are a first-time viewer of myself, hit that subscribe button down below. Drop that like. And leave a comment. See which, what was your favorite play. What was uh, something that you liked the most about this game. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. I'm out of here. Peace.